right, so after grabbing this number of 156,250, which is the current mileage, current mileage was 156,250. And what I did is I divided this number, which is the total miles, by my engine hours so of 5,152. I came out with an average speed of 30.32 uh, miles miles per hour. So my truck is um, is pretty on point with the number that a lot of Ford techs are telling you to grab these engine hours. So now if I grab this number right here and I multiply times 30, this is the amount, let me get that right here really quick. And this is the amount of miles that we're gonna add to my current mileage to figure out how many total miles my truck actually has. All right, so after grabbing that number right there, multiplying times 30 gives us an additional 38,100 miles. And if I add that to my existing mileage, this truck has roughly 194,380. Now, you know, this number right here, like, like I said, there's a range between 30 and 60. So like say you wanna go 40, to play it safe in between or even 60 you're looking you know an additional 40,000 miles might not be much right uh for a diesel pickup but uh so that's gonna be more than likely your your range and and now why is this super important and why do you want to look at this and you don't want to get scanned because you might run into a work truck that this engine idle hours might be in the 5,000 range. And um, this is it's going to cause a lot of issues, especially on these modern day uh, diesel engines, because you have what you call your EGR system. What is that? Your exhaust gas recirculation. Basically, they're grabbing your what's coming out of your exhaust and they're putting they're filtering some of that. And they're putting it back into your intake. It's exactly what, what it sounds like, right? They're recirculating some of that. And these components, I'm going to go ahead and show and show you some of these on, on my 2011. And we're going to talk about uh, how uh, these are going to have more wear and tear, which could essentially cause uh, a lot more expenses when it comes to your vehicle. So let me show you some of these components right here. And... Um, First of all, what we want to start off with is going to be what's going to be under your truck right here, which is going to be, let me see here, right here, we're going to find it right, which is right here, right here. What we have in here is going to be your, um, your def injection pump. And so this, the more you idle it, the more wear and tear it's going to have. Now, a lot of people on YouTube, well, they've deleted, they've done the EGR delete. So that's not a problem, right, for these trucks. But again, that is something that is federally illegal that can land you in jail or it could cost you a lot of money. Now we're going to talk about another component over here. Gonna be this right here which is where your actual egr this is where you have coolant running through here you have your exhaust running into here and it and this is where eventually you know it's gonna it's gonna come back into your intake but what these do is that they get clogged up and think about it as like a hose right if you got if you got water running through through some small opening at a very low pressure what's going to happen eventually with that hose well, it's going to it's going to start getting slowly clogged up by some of the mildew or some of the stuff and in this case it's going to be your exhaust which is going to be the suit the soot and it's going to start clogging up these tiny tiny pores that they have inside which eventually is going to create more issues versus if you don't idle your truck and your exhaust is pushing through at a high rate then you know it's less likely for these components to get clogged up and that's not the only one, but we have here. It's also your particular filter, which is the same deal. You got a whole bunch of tiny, tiny pores that are going to get clogged up if you're idling your truck a lot. 
and eventually this component right here is over fifteen hundred dollars just for this this filter alone and another fifteen hundred with that other component that i was showing you guys so this is why uh, a high idle vehicle on a diesel could essentially cost you a lot of money and uh, if you own this is my right here 2011 6.7 part stroke this is the first model year and uh, these engines were known to have what they call some the bad intake valves and and mainly what that caused was a premature uh, locking or failure of the engine and that was uh, a lot of them were found mainly on this side because this is where the exhaust fluid gets injected and that's where it weakens the valves and causes cracks on the heads so you know there, that's still there's a lot of if whether it was that or whether it was uh, crankshafts you know there's too many too many things but one thing for sure is a lot of them have seen that failure on this side and on the forum pages they spoke about how people that deleted this which is again against the law and i don't I, this is why i still run mine and i don't suggest it but they were saying that's why the people that deleted it never had that problem with the valves failing which initially they thought was the glow plug so again another reason why uh you don't want to buy a very high idle truck because that means that the the death fluid has been injected and for a long period of time it has already had the time to weaken those valves that were already an issue on these early build trucks so hopefully uh, this truck we can get more mileage out of it my goal is to not idle it as much which the truck hasn't been idled as much and uh, I want to eventually monetize this channel and uh, with that money uh, before this truck reaches over 200 maybe maybe 200,000 miles I want to replace those heads with the new upgraded valve stems I want to in that process clean this out right here uh, I want to replace the turbo uh, upgraded turbo so there's a there, there are a few things that, that i would like to do on this truck but in the meantime uh subscribe follow along and i'll keep you all posted with uh any repairs i currently have a few videos of this, the stuff that i've uh, had to do with this truck and um and we'll see we'll see we'll see how many miles we can get out of this truck let me, let me give you guys a quick startup there it goes love this truck guys uh it's been it's been pretty reliable pretty reliable it's been a good truck um i've had it going now on seven months i posted my first video when i purchased this truck if you want to check it out um i give a little bit more details of the price and the things that were wrong with it at the current time and a lot of the stuff of the videos that i have or are the repairs that i've done along the way but uh thank you guys for watching i hope this video helps so that you don't buy a very uh high mileage truck right because you might see that low number you might see that low number right there but in reality your truck might have twice as much as that you might be in the 300,000 miles without even realizing it so uh well enjoy your truck guys and and stay tuned so these are some of the numbers that i was talking about in the beginning so you can see and uh, basically how i figured out the miles and the additional mileage thank you guys